All right. Ken? Is it Ken versus Chun? Aw, it's Ken versus Chun-Li. Aw. Aw, please be a button check. No, they look like they're playing. Aw, five Chuns versus five Kens. At least there's a really good chance there's going to be good players on both teams. Ricky Mario's on this team. In fact, this might be Ricky Mario right now. I don't know if they're playing in that order. Kiraki. I didn't know he played Ken. Naga. Kyabetsu. Kyabetsu does not normally play Ken, does he? Who the fuck does Kyabetsu play? Oh, Kyabetsu is a Street Fighter 4 name. Is that the same Kyabetsu? Holy shit. Kyabetsu means cabbage. Matsi Dacho. I don't know who that is. She. Geki? She Geki? I know some of these Kens. The Chun, -Li, the Chun Li list is a lot like stronger of a list. I like know all of these Chun Li's. Hot or Ice is a good Chun Li. Oryo is a good Chun Li. Mochi is a good Chun Li. Ricky Mario is a great Chun Li. Taro Kichi is a good Chun Li. These are like five really good Chun Li's. I expect the Chun Li team to win pretty free. Especially because Chun Li does kind of well against Ken. No super cancel. Why on earth would you not super? I think he thought he was gonna hit Ken in midair or something. Nice little parry. Whoa, what the fuck? Why would you ever get that? That's like a mistake that shouldn't ever happen. That was kind of a good little setup. It was like clearly a cross-up, I don't know why Chun didn't block. But Chun Li like, didn't have an escape. Even predicting that, that's like a hard-ass parry. And the parry doesn't really get you anything because Ken lands immediately after that. Parrying doesn't give you a punish. Ugh. Double car throw, fail. You got a real one. Nice! Link! That requires a crouching opponent, I think. Oh, he went for another. That loops back into itself. You can use the uh, screen scroll to hide an overhead. And then if your overhead is perfectly timed, he went for red parry there. If your overhead is perfectly timed, you can link a uh, super. Um, I mean, it's not super important text, but I will put it in there for you. Because I care about my stream. What the fuck? No, cancel. There you go. I would like Dan to be honest. Dan is definitely Dan is definitely a character they should have in CBS3 if they ever have that. Dan would be a waste of a slot in MVCI. There's too many important characters to have in that game. Like Mega Man. Wasn't Mega Man confirmed? Which Mega Man is it? Is it just fucking plain ass 2000 X Mega Man? Very nice. Uh, there, that's what he wants. He wants close round house. It's X. That's fine. X is just fine. It's like Miss Marvel and... Who was it? Ryu? And Iron Man? Something like that. Very nice. And Cap. Very nice. And who was it, Morgan? Miss Marvel is Captain Marvel now. Big punish, Stairman House into what the fuck? Oh. I guess he doesn't want to burn the meter. I guess he still doesn't want to burn the meter. I think he could have won that round. That was not the question. He's just being really careful. But, you know. 
EXE EX hasn't. Very nice. That was cool. That was a good parry. Mega Man and Mega Man X are two completely different people. But Mega Man, but zero from Mega Man X and zero from Mega Man Zero are the same guy. The two zeros are the same dude. Legends is an entirely different Mega Man. All the Mega Mans are different people. I guess it's possible that Biometal fucking X or whatever is some established character. Or Biometal fucking Z. I don't know. I don't know about those two. Whoa. That was nice. EX Fireball is safe. And DP beats a lot of attacks. It's quick start up, good hitbox. Some invulnerability. Sand Strong is a button you don't really see that much from Chun Li. Did it twice in a row really quickly. It was a nice, strong Chun Li round. He was a little bit risky with parryable attacks. Heard it here first, um, Anakara still be in MBCI. Because it will have a non-female Darkstalker, and if it's ever a non-female Darkstalker, it is ever only um, Dimitri or Anakaris. If they bring Jin Tome back... Oh, that was ambiguous, dude! I thought that was going to cross up. That was actually really cool. I wonder if Jump Jab like made his push box bigger. That's safe, I think. I think. Oh, uh, we've gone for an aggressive parry. Ugh. That was a bad fireball. That was a punish. That fireball was suicidal. Fireballs like that are unsafe on hit. Never throw fireballs on a cornered opponent when you're in the corner. Um, in any Street Fighter game. Fireballs have really bad frame data, but are balanced by the fact that they push the opponent out. That sure looks like Tokido in the back. I can't tell he's wearing a mask. Got the same eyes. Victor will literally never come back unless they bring back everyone. I hate to say it. He's a direction they've moved away from. Darkstalkers, like, can't be silly now. Oof, nice punish. Ah, that could have been jab, short jab, or something. Short jab, short, rather. Very nice. Ah, fucking breathable air. Thanks, Japan. Such a weird place. I do my best thinking when inhaling raw oxygen. Chun Li's uh, angle goes really crazy when you parry that stomp. Everyone's air angle changes a little bit when you air parry them, but Chun Li goes nuts. Oh, that was a good jump. Holy shit. Chun Li might have been able to keep mashing. Haha, <laughs> she did parry into Samurai House and she got hit midair. And then I reset her out of it. That can be a cross up. That's a. Um, that never crosses up on Chun Li. But you can't walk out of it. If you try and walk out of it, it crosses up, but then can still land in front of you. That's some canned oxygen right there. Probably slightly flavored. Now I'm fairly certain that's not Tokido in the back there. No, his fucking mask is down. Looks less like him. Oh, 
Yeah, Necro Strill is another one. His angle stays the same, but he moves backwards, and he, um... Oh, nice parry. That's a really good habit to get into, but it's hard to get into it because Chun-Li's don't really Hazanshu much. You need to play like bad Chun-Li's that spam Hazanshu to get into the habit of parrying Hazanshu, or else you'll never learn. But like good Chun-Li's never use Hazanshu, so like by the time you... By the time they actually pull it out. It's like a sneaky move. It's not useless, you can do like back fears to Hazanshu and catch people trying to parry the back fears. Kiryu's maybe in his 30s, at the very oldest. Very nice, with, uh, with punish. Well placed. That's tricky, dude. Kens have gotten really good at that mix-up. The follow-up situation of a Shippu, you can get a very ambiguous cross-up. Ambiguous cross-ups are like one of the oldest fucking mix-ups of Street Fighter. I thought it was electrical engineering. I don't know. They can't add Squirrel Girl without making her a lethal joke character. Oh, Mr. Fucking Candair. The Candair probably works to some degree, if only because of placebo. It might have some other fucking scientific backing, but it definitely works on merit of placebo. <laughs> if you're convinced that you're calmer, you're actually calmer. I mean, that one didn't have a nose cover, so it can't be that flavored, right? It's intended to only go into your mouth. And seeing as it's like, you know, air. Probably still tasted a little bit. Yeah, that's a failed car throw. Or maybe defensive throw, who knows. Something's in a bad spot. Situations like that are really awkward for Chun-Li, when she's like, not down around yet. And it's like, I could maybe win if I used a super, but my super is so valuable. That's one of the actual problems that Chun-Li faces. Is that you basically, you've got to be really smart about when you drop your supers. That's like one of the only things Chun-Li has to like, fucking struggle with. Consistent car throws are also important. If you can't do consistent car throws, don't even pick up the character. Yeah. Oh, he went for Red Fairy! That was hungry. This must be a good Chun Li. Nice. No super! See, I think that was a deliberate decision. That wasn't an accident. He just decided he didn't want super. If he used super, he'd enter round 3 with no meter. Although he'd basically be guaranteed to win. Now he definitely should land super. Aw, uh, he still didn't go for it. That one he kind of paused after he landed it. I don't know, maybe he's just deli deliberately not. That was a lot of crouch medium kicks to miss. It's not that hard, I think he was just saving. But that's crazy that he was like potentially about to go out and he was still saving meter. But look at his meter now. Yeah, huh? I think he was expecting something else. There you go. Aw, oh, he missed the meaty. Very nice. That crouch. It kind of looks like it's telegraphing a low. Did he get it? He got it! Very nice. Three good Shippu setups. One time Chun Li predicted, I guess, either a tech. I don't know, it was kind of early to tech. Probably low parried, because she was crouching. Very aggressive low parry. Then, um. What was it? It was low forward fireball, reaction super. Then an aggressive, caught aggressive low parry, and then, um. Caught the universal, media universal overhead. Yeah. 
るんじゃないですかね、当時はじゃあ、やっぱり一緒に練習とかしてたはずなので、はいまあ、クレイさんの意味も、ある程度、手の内は分かってる相手、お互いに分かってるという、2人ですね、これは、まあ、見ていきましょう。はぁ、そう、wacky fucking DP。This is the Ricky Mario color. Was that Ricky Mario? I remember Ricky Mario being fatter. But I look a little like him. That's a nice red parry. That's like the mark of a really good player. You can high red parry a lot of Ken shit. Very nice parry. Whew. If he had super, he could have landed and supered. It would have been a waste of meter. Very nice. That was Ricky Mario level play, say that much. I mean, it's been like 10 years since I've seen Ricky Mario. Maybe he lost weight. Uh, it hurts. What's kind of cool is those two stand fierces built a lot of meter. Close fierce builds meter, I think, the fastest of anything Ken has, but you can't do close fierce from far away. Pretty sure. I mean, I'm definitely sure you can't do it from far away. Those emotes are cool. I think he could have dead OS that crutch medium kick. It's very common to not be looking for that. Ah, oh, that meaty was so clean! You see that? The screen scrolling made it really hard to see. Oh, caught her forward dashing. Empty cancels are really good to catch a forward dash in this game. Holy shit! He didn't have the meter though. He couldn't do a super cancel. Ah, oh, fuck! Holy shit! This Ken is doing work! He's been going through people. I don't even know who this is. Jump Randhouse just didn't hit. <laughs> nice whip punish. Whip punishing is the name, is the name of the game as Chun-Li and also against Chun-Li. Suddenly makes the game about whiff punishing once she's on the screen. Kyabetsu, huh? Is it that Kyabetsu? Is it like Viper Kyabetsu? Is that a punish? Yeah, I think it is. Very nice. That's like a 3 frame super or whatever. Knowing your punishes is such a big deal. There are a lot of punishes that just go by in this game. That's like a big weakness even among high level players. Is not knowing the frame data for these incredibly fast supers. And uh, minus frame attacks. Nice little setup there. It's Ken's on his last legs. Oh, that's nice. That's a really good start. He needed that. This is like a mix up to kill potentially. Ooh, he went for EX Bird! EX Bird is bad. I've never heard of Kyabatsu Viper playing Third Strike, so... But you know, a lot of Japanese players... Everyone in Street Fighter 4 came from something. Very nice. I'm actually a little hyped for this, and it's Ken vs. Chun-Li. Very nice parry. Oh my god, that can work. It's, I think he wasn't point blank enough. This is really, really bad. In a second, Chun Li can just, like, yeah. Okay. About to say, potentially chip out. And when you're in a chip out scenario, you have to play in a very specific way to not die. <laughs> that phase. I thought this would be free, but it's 4 4. Mm. 
Punish. That was a punish. It's all right. Chun Li doesn't have like very much in the way of combos to go for there. So getting the corner and getting a little bit of damage from the throw was actually pretty good for her. Chun Li's punish options when she doesn't have a super are pretty bad. That's another one of her little weaknesses. Sick car throw. Yeah, he was getting to that range where car throw was mean, but like Ken couldn't take a throw. I'm not rooting for anyone in particular unless they play Aura, in which case I'm rooting for everyone. So I put normal throws, I'm pretty sure still three frames in this game. Pretty sure. They're fast anyway. Just, the range isn't that good, and pressure is too good. Nice red parry. Is that old notation two frame? So basically the throws are the same speed as Street Fighter 4. <laughs> Trouble. <sighs> Team Chun Li. We haven't seen the last of them. It's kind of a shame because Chun Li is better at removing the teams that we actually want to watch. Oh shit! Ken versus Ibuki. Part of the Ken versus Ibuki sets. What the fuck, these scores? Oh, they haven't been reset yet. The scores are actually off screen for you guys. Ken team versus Ibuki team is cool. Why weren't we watching this? Holy shit. Ibukis are great. I did not know. That's a shame. I would have liked to see that. Damn, Buki's my bay now. I recognize all these attacks. Was that just raw, staying strong, staying short? Or towards short? I didn't know she could do that. I didn't know that was a TC. I thought you had to do the jab first. This should kill. It's pretty close. I don't actually find Ibuki very fun to play in this game. I probably would now. I didn't used to. I don't know anything about this matchup though. I know it's not supposed to be that bad. Even though Ken is really strong and Ibuki is not very strong. Ibuki is very footsie based in this game. It's very easy to get the impression from Ibuki in other fighting games that she's very based around uh, traps and wonkiness and mix-ups and weird shit like that. But in Third Strike she's actually really, really like kind of ground game, kind of fundamental, kind of solid. Like she's not as fundamental and ground gamey as like Elena or Chun-Li are, but she's like the next one after them. There's very little like, I mean there's a decent amount of mix-ups she has. There's some weird shit she can go for. It's not like she's without weird shit. She still got it. Trickiness. Maybe he does have tricks. But she's um mostly just about using good normals. Using your normals well. Her range is very stubby. She can still combo out of her overhead in this game. On crutching opponents. Oh shit, this is the American Ken team. I don't know who to root for, damn it. Oh, 
はないと思うけど、はい、その対策してないとやっぱり面倒くさい、ね、このゲームは。特殊なキャラですからね。I really like Ibuki's new outfits, to be honest. No stamina, no, so I thought I would stand forward. Good uh, parry into block by the Ken's part. I, would, I never do that. Crouching Ibuki is small. Remember last year, like some.、Um, One of the、uh, one of the commentators made some disparaging comments about the Westerners and was removed from commentary. Her swimsuit is godlike. Her default is really good. All her other costumes are just fine. None of these guys are five star, apparently. I don't know fucking. I don't know five star. I think he I, he he was like just joking. The guy who got kicked off, he he did say Gaijin. I know that was one of the words said. And Gaijin is um slightly. It's got a perception of being slightly racist. Huh? That Ibuki just dropped Jab Strong Fierce. But he was just clowning around. But it was just like kind of bad taste, kind of clowning around. Anyway, I don't know what five star goes by other than five star, so one of these players could be him. But the teams are. The team is Hold That, Gavin, Frankie 3S, Mune XB, and Niki KO. So unless he's fucking Gavin or Hold That. Very nice. Ken is a decently prolific character in the US. Probably unsurprising. The US Kens were okay. They weren't like super amazing, but they were good enough. One of the only characters that was actually played at a high level. Ah, bad, bad super punish. This is pretty much a kill. It's hard to get out of that. That's like the easiest possible way to get out. But the thing is, you don't get a punish anyway. Well, you can. It depends. It all depends. The Ibuki even did like the wrong super. Ibuki's towards roundhouse、um, does a fuck ton of stun in this game. Does like a, about a, like a quarter of your stun bar. Who would be on Team of Fail? What the fuck? This Ibuki's dropping some really easy stuff. That's like two missed punishes on、uh, Shippu. Oh, he didn't mesh it. It's kind of harmless to mesh there. He would have got some extra damage. I guess he was afraid of jump、uh, EX Tatsu. Yeah, Cruz. Cruz is member number one. I'm not sure how to feel about that Ibuki we just saw. I don't know any of these players on the Ibuki team. Which is a good sign for our chances of winning. That's a good whip punish. We're punishing a whiff throw on reaction, a failed offensive throw, so he wasn't even expecting a throw necessarily. With crouch medium kick DP. Tom, why don't you tell everyone how good you are at third strike? Nice taunt. <laughs> That's a pretty good time to go for that. I've never seen anyone go for a taunt there. Stand fierce is like your optimal juggle there, and it leaves the opponent really far away. So, like, the taunt is probably safe. Go. That's a good parry. After you get hit, even if you get hit by Ibuki's、um, EXDP, she has to come down with attacks that usually won't combo unless you're really fucking tall, like Hugo.、Um, ooh, nice. So you can just parry Ibuki coming down, and it's not that unsafe. And can, you can give Ibuki a really hard time doing that. Makes her reversal kind of bad. Ah,、uh, this Ken is doing really well. I don't know any of these players by their faces. I have no idea who this is. I know who Frankie 3S is pretty well, but I've like never seen him.
ングでも勝てないといった状況での勝利権ということで非常に強かったです。その空気を読んで勝っていきました。色戻りましてガビンケンですね。これが多分イラブさんかな色的に。これがイラブさんか。ノーマルカラーのはずなんで。ノーマルカラー。ナイスプレイここでちょっとガビン・ケンの猛攻を咎めたいですねそうです確か2人目なんでまだはい It's, it's like a fucking American team I'm surprised there's only one black guy let's put it like that The command jump that's almost never a good idea and he got punished for it You can't parry during that jump and the only things you can do out of it are like kunai and super So like it's really easy to just anti-error when you see that Ken risks almost nothing by fucking DPing. Even if Ibuki super is like the super gets like one hit and then he like hits the ground. The taunt? The reset using the taunt? That's kinda cool. Really bad EX viral. Trying to catch a forward dash with it. Yeah, I know. I know Nika KO super well. I know Mutant next B. Damn, that's a long time ago. The thought. I remember. I literally. I was so hyped when Super came out. I was like, finally, like ten more characters. Maybe there'll be someone I don't hate. And there was. There were several characters I didn't hate. Super's roster at the time was actually pretty mediocre. Like retrospectively, of all those characters who came out with Super, the best one was probably Adon. Which I think is what everyone thought at the time. I mean, everyone thought Dudley was going to be kind of strong. Nobuki and Makoto, like, literally no one played. And Makoto was really weak back then. Ugh. Guy and Cody saw a lot of play, but they weren't super strong. Guy's gotten nice buffs every single game. Hey, nice. When you buff someone four games in a row. That was Coach Jab. I guess that's what Ken uses. He's trying to take throw. Probably the best one. Score is 4 to 2. Ken's favor. I actually killed. Buki has no health, man. I'm pretty sure she's even lower than, like, um. Doro and Elena and John and all them. Nikki Kao is probably one of the most prolific uh, third strike players in the US, if not the most prolific. The only person competing with him is Pyro Lee, and also just Among. It's like those three are probably like the three best. Maybe not the three best, but the three most prolific. Yeah, Boogie has like no health, huh? I know it when I'm doing aura combos on Ibuki, I have like an expectation on how much they, how much damage it she takes. But then when I see Ibuki eat a Shippu, it's just like, oh fuck, just died. That's gonna hit? No, it didn't. That was a pretty good punish too. Still got her back to the wall really hard. Aggressive ass parry is trying to not die. He's almost got the stun. Ooh, that's it! Yeah, that was cool. That was a good comeback. That was a super good stim roundhouse. Oh yeah, Ricky too. Ah, oh, that overhead. Buki's overhead can corpse hop even on like crouching opponents in this game. You have to not do it from that close. Buki's not really a comeback character. She does have decent stun output, especially with the towards roundhouse. Oh, that's pretty much going to seal the deal. This is a really hard comeback now. Super improbable. Holy shit. Aggressive read, yeah. I was gonna say aggressive reads are just as likely to get him killed as they are to save him, or I should say, dramatically more likely to get him killed. Yeah, 
Because Yang has a nice dive kick. Next question. What do you mean did an American even get to play? <laughs> Who was that? I thought all these guys are American. Oh, Yan versus Chun Li. Ah, it paused. I think on crouch medium kick on standing opponents there's no yet combo. If you like do crouch medium kick into Gane, I'm pretty sure you can't convert there. Oh, he went for Max. Nice lightning legs. あ、オリュタイ、多分新庄さんね。オリュタイ新太郎が勝ち抜けです。勝ち抜け。まあ、本命の一つ。力丸持ちオリュパラライチ、カロキチームが抜けたと。そうですね。さあ、若手の県ファ
It's just a cute little design quirk. Wow, that actually worked. That super has full body invincibility until after it hits, so it's a very good reversal. That was a good blood taunt. Q is actually in a super good position to win this round. Two taunts plus having full uh, uh, super meter stocked. Gonna do it again. It wouldn't be a bad idea. If he did super at any one of those, uh, it would have hit Yun Airborne. And if he hit Yun Airborne, um, oh nice, Barry. If he hit Yun Airborne, Yun wouldn't have been able to quick stand, so it would have been safe, but it would have done like no damage, but it also would have wasted all the Gane timing. I've been calling them blood taunts forever. I guess I technically got it from Street Fighter 4 with the blood oil. You've got to consider how badly the opponent can punish you for taunting. Sometimes it's worth it. Yun is a good character. Yun is a decent example of when it's worth it. A really good example is Chun Li. Chun Li without Super and Remy are like the two really obvious examples of um, your taunt is going to pay off even if they hit you. Like unless those characters get like a full jump in, you're probably not going to regret taunting. Nice. This is big damage on twins. Ooh. Got super good health. Again, we're back to super two. Very nice. He could have done. Um, I think he didn't have charge. He could have done another dash punch to juggle. He went for the taunt instead. They're both good. Either one would have been a good decision. Air to air, or I should say anti air dash punch, is a great time to taunt pretty much always. Makoto is the worst, yes. Makoto can literally touch or stun you almost. Poor taunting. This is a good Q. Nah. Oh, so it goes sometimes. Some command grabs are easier to punish by neutral jumps than others. Q's is one of the easier ones. Mostly because of his four startup. Very nice tick. That's the Max Oki. The taunt really didn't matter there. He was just wasting time. It's technically better than not getting it. There's nothing else he could have done there. Very nice. Names are on the bottom, but I don't know which Q it is. Super 3 Q is kind of bad. There's five Qs, and two of the names I literally can't read. One of them is Takahashi, who's a very good Q player, I know. The other two are um, Rumina and uh, Honmono. Or I know Honmono. But it could be any one of these guys. They like rock, paper, scissors for who plays. Reversal something. Yeah, I'm probably, yeah. Uh, Gotta stagger his approach. This Q has played this matchup a lot, I feel. This matchup is actually not that bad. It's like, it gives you the impression that it would be really awful. But Q's damage just, like, helps a lot. The Enders are kind of cool on Q. We didn't get to see one though. Oof. This might actually be Takahashi. They just said his name. Takahashi Q each round, something. Yeah, Q is one of those characters where being able to get parries reliably actually pays off a lot more. Is it gonna punish, I think? Yeah, I did. He could have actually super, super cancelled it. He parried the first two hits of the dash punch. If he parried the third hit, he could have just punished. He could have done some medium kick super or something like that. That would have been cool. These jump dive kicks are really risky. 
Ah, uh, he thought it would punish. That could actually could that could spell the beginning of a comeback. This is suddenly really hard to win. Super 2 still does full damage on jumping opponents. Oh, that was a badly spaced dash punch. Dash punch is like the one thing Yun has that's actually unsafe in Genejin. Ooh, nice parry. He needed that to not die. That was brilliant. Oh, stand jab. Well chosen normal. To Yun had to do that jump dive kick from the angle he was at to like 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 to keep the pressure going. That was like the only way he could do it safely. And from the angle that he hit that jump dive kick, um he was minus. Sanchap was gonna catch a jump away, it was gonna beat any normal that Yun did. It was like a pretty low risk normal. And Yun couldn't safely parry it because uh he couldn't safely parry or even block because it was very obvious to go for a throw there. Like most people would go for a throw there. The jab was really nice. It was just a bad scenario though. Yan put himself into a situation where he like couldn't safely do anything. Very nice. Okay, Wender. The classic builds half your meter back. Aw, oh, the hard read. Q got an accidental charge, though. That's such a weird scenario to be in in this matchup. Like, when do you ever block that? When does Yan ever do it, let alone when do you ever block it? Yan sailed over his head and he, like, hit a punch. Got a charge move. That would have killed. That would have killed. He dropped a kill combo. It's unfortunate. <laughs> they teach English. It's literally mandatory to learn English in Japanese schools. Most people don't go super far with it, but most people have like a, a rudimentary understanding of English. Like hello and good morning and fucking shit like that. They know the alphabet. Basic words. Nearly everyone in Japan knows basic English words. Some numbers. I love that. The walk in into um, Jeb's, Jeb, Jeb Strong Fear Supper. Got him! This kills. Pow. You can't eat that. You can't eat that even once. That's gone. That's just a round ender. If you ever eat uh, Q Super, you're just dead. Nice parry. Really good punish. Yo, Q only combos. I love when I see shit like that. You've got to do a very slow target combo or else that doesn't work. And then it's, I think, medium upper into low strong. Uh, another upper. That was super cool. That was, like, really cool. He, he earned that one. There are some really neat combos that are Q only. Q is the most, he's the easiest character by a good, min, by a good, a good, uh, a good margin. The easiest character to juggle. Yeah, I'm just streaming on my regular ass channel. If I get banned, I get banned. Fuck the police. I think we literally had a Twitch cop show up last time. Like, a year ago. Not slow enough. Or has some cool Q-only combos. Normally you have to do Stan Renahus into... You have to do Stan Strong 2 hits into Stan Renahus for your like optimal stun like reaction combo. But um, against Q you can do Stan Strong 2 hits into like hard fireball into Stan Renahus. Which is normally a corner only combo but it works uh, mid-screen. Kind of cool. Yes, Necro's like... When Necro's in the corner and Necro gets a um, uh, half circle forward kick on Q. You can actually do some really neat stuff. Oh, he dropped it. This is a weird setup, but you can get full combos from this. It's really, really scaled. Yes, Q juggles are tight. KO Ender. 
That was fast. This is a good yawn. Let's not go into the morality of it in case we accidentally discuss some things that may uh, incriminate me. That's a white looking fellow in the back. Oh yeah, that works. That's like young. That's like a, a young combo that you frequently do. You can do that against a bunch of characters. Very nice. He went for the reset. Ah, I missed it. This is the nature of Third Strike, okay? You guys are about to fucking hear it. This is what Third Strike is like. In a tournament, you'll see all these close-ass matches between all these low-ass tiers and these high-ass tiers. you would be like, oh man, this is a really competitive tournament. Like, the tier bracket must not be that big. And then you, like, at the end of the tournament, you look at the results and it's like fucking Gyun, Chun-Li, Ken. And it's just like, oh. That's how Third Strike works. Somewhere in the mix, all the fucking top tiers won. Nice neutral throw. That might actually be damage, I mean, stun optimal for, for his throws. You never see the neutral throw from, uh, from, from Q. Does a lot of damage. He actually could have landed Super 2, I think. It would have been hard, but I think it was possible. That was a super deep punish. That was an anything punish. This is not that Yun team. That's a really fucking deadly Yun team. That will actually be. That will actually win the whole thing. Holy shit, that team. Yakun is fucking good. Kenzo is fucking good. Issei is fucking good. Mester is fucking good. And, uh. Hyashins? I don't know who the fuck that is. What we got here? This must be bracket. This must be results. I already know. There's gonna be a whole bunch of fucking top tiers. I can't even tell what game this is. It looks like Evo results. I guess you need to actually click on it. Chun Li Yun Dudley, yeah, exactly, exactly. That's the perfect picture. Oh shit, Alex versus Ibuki. Everyone's favorite. Yes, Alex just kills you. Alex touches you and you just die. Alex's momentum isn't even that good. None of the mix-ups really bleed into each other in this game. But just four errant hits and you die. Oh my god, that car throw. Who is this Alex? This must be Genki. Holy shit, this Alex team looks pretty solid. No, it doesn't look that solid. It looks a little solid. Nah, Akagaider isn't even on this team. Genki's probably the best Alex. And Genki's on this team, and that's the Genki color, so it could be Genki. They're all standing up. Don't tell me. Oh, I just ended. I just ended. Alex's game plan still makes you up. He's still got a command grab. He's got really, really, really good tick throws in a game where tick throws are strong. All right, Yen Ken. I think he plays with the red. Ooh. Doesn't he? Now I'm second guessing myself. Genki made a really good showing last co-op cup. Alex, is, Alex has been the whiffing boy this whole game's lifespan. 
This is that Ken team from the Ken vs. John. Versus Oja, Bagon, uh, Moto, Yan, Chuashi, Zesho, TKD. Zesho. And Shintaro Yan. Um, 12 is noticeably better than Sean, and anyone who says otherwise has a respectable opinion. I don't know, it's hard to say. On one hand, 12's tool set is like, you know, kind of actually better than Sean's. Like, in terms of like unique things and like, you know, footsie ability and whatnot. But then, uh, Sean has a lot of stuff that's shared with Ken that's undeniably good. So it's like hard to say. Like Sean theoretically would be a lot easier to play, um, just because he shares like strats with like oh that was desperate. Share strats that people already know. But like twelve might actually be a better character, but requires like a lot more experience. That Hugo team, please. This is a really terrible position to get uh, Gane. You have to go for a very bad combo. Like the absolute worst place you can be standing for your Gane starter. Very nice. Good use of EX. That fucking face. That's like the guy. That's the guy from every 1940s like US cartoon about the Japanese. That guy has the most Japanese face. Nice. Yun's EX like use is actually like super I mean EX up kick is actually really good. EX dash punch has no use that I'm aware of. EX shoulder is really, really specific. EX shoulder is mostly outclassed by EX up, up kick. There are two Fedoras on the Yun team. I mean on the uh, Ken team. I wish it ever snowed here. That's 4 3. Score just went up. Ah, oh, target combo whiffed and it made it punishable. Nice escape. Coward Copter. Yeah, Yun has three EX moves. You have no EX palm and no EX command grab. Oh, that was nice. I think he predicted the fake dive kick and punished it. Make it land on a low. Dive kick has landing recovery just a little bit. You're, 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 uh, you're making anything with flour, like cooking. Snow is like a uh, cold, wet flour. Okay, it's not that much like cold wet flour. It clumps though. And it's white. And it's a bunch of little things. It's definitely not like ice cream. It's like a lot softer than ice cream. 